Hello everyone and welcome to my vitamin D walk talk. Today I am getting 21 IUs a minute. It's a little bit overcast. I think it's about like 75, 60% overcast. I'm not sure. So I'm not getting a full IUs today, but I'm getting some getting out. It's about 20 degrees cooler today or 10 degrees cooler than it was last week when I went out. So it's like 83 or so right now. It's really nice. It feels great outside. Um, but yeah, I wanted to come on today and talk about something that I am dealing with personally and I've dealt with a lot in my life and I think I can help other people with this. So if you or anyone you know suffers from chronic pain or any arthritis or just pain in your joints and pain in your body, this might help you a lot. So I have three big tips to help. I think I've got, I've got turmeric on my hands. I've got three big tips to help you end your chronic pain. So tip number one, food. Nutrition, huge. I'm always gonna talk about food nutrition, but you need to make sure that you are eating very alkaline ash foods. So you wanna eat lots of fruits and vegetables, a lot of raw foods. You wanna stay away from acidic foods. So acidic foods are gonna be gluten, they're gonna be dairy, they're gonna be meats, they're gonna be all the processed food, all the sugars, all the baked goods, all the breads and all the candies, all that kind of stuff. Those foods are acid, acid ash forming foods in your body. So they're gonna create this acid environment in your body. And what does our body do when there's acid? It sends calcium and cholesterol to buffer these acids in our body. And once it does that, it sends them, they'll get kind of stuck in our, in our joints or so, and the calcium will harden in our joints. And that's where this pain comes from, you guys. So when you have pain, pain equals acids. So you gotta think, okay, I gotta alkalize my diet. I gotta stop eating this acidic food. So for me, I actually got joint pain last week and it was triggered from eating some gluten. So it was the day after that, I just had extreme pain in my joints. And I'm like, why am I having pain? Because I ate gluten <laughs> and gluten is an acid, acid ash food. So number one thing, if you have a lot of chronic pain, you definitely need to take a look at your diet and you need to be eating a lot more fruits and vegetables. Number two thing that's really helped me in my life is changing your water. So I don't drink a regular H2O anymore. I don't drink that at all. I drink an H2O2. It's a negative ion water that is super antioxidant. It's just like drinking like five gallons of blueberries in just a little cup of water. It's insane. And I have a little water meter that I test a lot of different waters. I test all the alkaline waters in the store and the spring waters and this water and that water. I test all these waters and I've never found anything that comes close to the power of the antioxidants in the water that I drink. So. Number two would be change your water to a super antioxidant water. It has taken my neck pain away from when I broke my neck. And my spine doctor told me I would always have this neck pain. And the pain was gone within three weeks after drinking this water. So if you have chronic pain, you want to be drinking super negatively charged ion water that is going to antioxidize your body and help with the pain. And number three, um, third thing you can do if you have a lot of chronic pain is to add in some herbs. So herbs, botanicals are amazing. They are our nature's like pharmacy, basically. You can go outside and just pick, if you learn about herbs and pick whatever and have pharmacy. It's great, it's cheap too. But two things that I'm doing right now to help with my joint pain is I'm taking high doses of turmeric. Um, I'm taking liquid turmeric and I'm taking it in a shot glass two times a day. I also bought fresh turmeric root from the store. I am um, peeling that a little bit and then I'm juicing it or I am blending it into my stuff. So I had, just before this, I had a dressing full of turmeric in it. I add turmeric juice to orange juice, which tastes really good. So just doubling up and just getting high doses of turmeric in my body really, really helps, <laughs> like really, really helps. It doesn't help right away. So it's not like an Advil. It's not going to just take your pain away instantly. But over a couple days, if you're taking these high doses, you start to feel it. Like I'm feeling significantly better in my wrist. I'm no longer having sharp shooting pain. I can, I can still kind of feel that there's something not right with my wrist and something's not like feels a little weird, but all in all, it is so much better, like so much better. So turmeric and boswellia. So boswellia, it's a Indian frankincense. Um, it tastes, well, I think because I use the alcohol version, it tastes like gasoline, it doesn't taste very good. But I mix boswellia and I mix turmeric together. I put them in a little shot glass with water and I down the shot. And that is my herbs for morning and night before I go to bed. But those two together are powerful antioxidants. Boswellia is actually used for arthritis and like pain and all that kind of stuff. So it is super powerful combined with turmeric. I love them. So my three big tips to end your chronic pain forever is change your diet, change your water, and add in anti-inflammatory herbs. Hope that helps you guys.